hello uh, welcome to the sixth part of the tutorial so in this tutorial we'll see how to apply the materials into water into the chair and actually into the bench and uh, how to create the sunlight so uh, actually before applying the water texture I would like to do this uh, material for the bench so as same as we have done to the trees we have to go to the material editor and we have to choose uh, the ma correct material for the ch bench as well so uh, first of all hit the M in your keyboard and you will get the material editor and uh, select a sphere that is empty and click on the diffuse box and click on bitmap and I will choose for the bench uh, this material and before applying for the bench you want to apply for each part of the bench so first of all I have to ungroup it and for this part I will be applying this material and here it is okay so you can see the uh, material is not like it's stretched so we'll give the tiling a bit I'll increase the tiling so you can see the material is still it's um, you know this is the boundary of the material so we'll make it as one otherwise we can see the uh, <coughs> endings uh, of this material uh, yes oh you can go to the UVW map and uh, change the material stretch and we can give the length we'll increase the length and see it's still the same okay right so I have increased the uh, width of the material so otherwise there is no way I can uh, reduce the length because the boundaries of the material will affect the object okay that seems okay <coughs> we'll apply the uh, materials for the other parts as well so click on diffuse select bitmap and I will choose this So, I want to apply this material to this part of the bench. So, I'll select all at once, drag and drop, and assign to selection. So, this is okay, but uh, we can. change the pattern a bit so otherwise everything look the same right now you can see now I have applied only one material to several objects so when I change the options of this of, of this material so it will affect all the objects it's assigned to so as an example I have applied this material into several objects here several boxes now when I change uh, uh, op an option here so it will affect the whole objects the all objects here so I'll change the angle and we So it's like otherwise you can see all this you know the scar in every object so it is like all the same. 
So for these two objects I will assign another material. This drag and drop assign to selection and you can see so it seems okay. So for these two as well I I'll apply this. Okay. Now the bench seems okay. You can see it's done. Right, we'll move on to the water. Okay, so as we have selected, like the 3 d Max already have the materials inside it, so uh, we had to turn on an option called um, Mental Ray Renderer, and after we have turned on it, it will automatically show us the materials the renderer option has. So uh, to give it an idea, I will show you how to turn on the material, the mental ray render, and how to turn on the materials. First of all, go to the rendering, <coughs> and go to the render setup, and go to the bottom until you can see assign renderer. Here you can see this default scanline renderer is selected. Click in this box, and you will get this window select the mental ray renderer now you can close the render options and after that hit M in your keyboard again select an empty sphere and this time you are not clicking in the diffuse you are clicking in the standard button here click in the standard button and you can see some new options available here so as you can remember uh, we have changed the mental ray renderer from the default scanline renderer this default scanline renderer doesn't include these options only in mental ray renderer you can see these options so you have to select the arc and design after you have selected you can see here arc plus design mental ray and you can see a select a temple box is here you can select it and it will drop down right so from there you want to select the water reflective surface okay now you can see the uh, water material has been automatically added into the sphere so what you want to do is you just select drag and drop to the water the plane you have applied the noise so now we'll render it and see how it looks like So this is the output. You can see these water and uh, reflections of these objects. Uh, so the two trees, the ground, and the bench. So this looks nice, and uh, we'll add some light into it, and uh, we'll get the output in a good way. Right. So I will be doing the light lights in the next tutorial okay so before that I would like to tell another option we can apply for this <coughs> so that is the bump option so you can see the bump option in the material editor go pressing M to the material editor and you can see these um, options available drag it down until you see maps click on the maps and you can see some uh, options are available and here you can see the bump option is available and the 30 amount has been given so uh, actually the bump this bump what it actually does is it will give the roughness into the material now you can see the materials the material is flat now if I render it and see now when you render this frame you can see this you have applied the map but the map is flat now if you want to get these carvings in the bench 
and the roughness of the materials you have to apply the bump option so first of all I will apply the UVW for this and here so to apply the bump option go to the materials click on the bump and it, it will apply the bump option but you have to give the same material as you have given here so currently I have given uh, this material to the bench so you have to get the same material to apply the effect so click on the none and you will get this option click on the bitmap again and select the same material you want to apply for the bump to get the roughness right so you have applied it here so what you want to do drag and drop it to the material okay so that is the basic thing oh actually you can do like this as well so you can select the material the one which you have applied you can go down to the maps and you can see the diffuse color has been already applied because we have assigned it so you can see the bump from here select the bump bump select none go to the bitmap and select the same material so i guess that way is easy from one slot you can do the things All right so uh, what you want to do select it and assign it here that's all okay now we'll see now we have given the bump amount as 30 so it will not give you I mean a big effect but we can see how it is affecting now this is how your bench look like in when you zoom it in so now we'll see giving the bump a good value like 200 now you can see your material has been roughed right now you can see like your bench is actually like a like an old bench with rough wood okay so when you zoom out and let me you know render it again and see so you can actually have a good material applied so you can actually see this carving of carvings of the bench right? so that is what the bump will do so I will apply for each uh, material as well the pump okay you can actually uh, apply this for these three materials as well give it like 80 so that will be fine right so that will be all with the bump okay so uh, in next tutorial I will tell you how to create lights hope you got something from this tutorial